Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, this is day two of no nicotine, and uh, I haven't even had any caffeine yet either. I didn't drink any coffee, but today's already starting to go rough. Um, just with the no nicotine, I keep trying to eat stuff and drink stuff just to replace the, uh, you know, the need for the nicotine. It's it's gonna be a rough day. But uh, I'm just checking in quick now. I'll be back later. See how things go. So real quick, if you're wondering why in the beginning of the video my face face is all like shiny around here, it's because it's actually a allergic reaction to the um, the chemicals in the juice from vaping. When I vape, my skin would get dry all throughout here, so I had to put something on my face. I had lotion on my face, so that's what that was. In case you were wondering, if you even noticed. But uh, yeah, that's another reason for me to stop. It's like giving me a bad reaction with my skin right here. So that's all that was. I'm really starting to feel the effects of not having any caffeine or nicotine. Like I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. So I'm going to end up making some coffee. But I think drinking coffee is better than vaping or smoking or whatever. So that's what I'm about to do. I can't, st I can't keep my eyes open. I'm going to have to. I I can't keep my eyes open, so I gotta do something. Time to make some coffee. Okay, back to Fallout. So I even took two clonopins, and that's not helping with the uh, nicotine withdrawal. Two clonopins is only like, for me, it's like one milligram. But I need to do something because I'm getting all stressed and like shaky and like tensing everything up. And my anxiety is just like through the roof right now just from the lack of nicotine. Um, I'm hoping the coffee helps. I made some, I got enough for like two cups. I'm hoping that at least helps with everything, with the withdrawal. But um, yeah, today's definitely going to be difficult, difficult day because I keep thinking about vaping or or smoking or whatever and it's driving me nuts I'm like I just can't concentrate on anything but wanting to smoke but um, yeah you, you get what I'm saying it's just very very difficult but I'm gonna keep filming throughout the day just to show them what it's like to go through withdrawal from nicotine it's not fun I don't have a headache or anything yet it's just I feel very um, tense very tense and very restless very agitated so I'm going to go back to playing Fallout for a while and see how I feel in a little bit. Okay, so just checking in, watching the Bills game. Um, still dealing with the nicotine issues. <clears throat> One real big issue I had was I stood up and stretched out, and then my heart, like, it was like a lot, it was like a big thud. And I got really dizzy and lightheaded, and then I had to sit back down again, and my heartbeat was kind of irregular um, right after I did that, but. I'm feeling okay right now, but I'm um, definitely noticing, um, you know, the signs of the withdrawal from the nicotine. It's making me really restless still, really anxious. Um, it's just not good, but I figured I'd just check in for now. So this is the part of the day where I decide whether or not to keep watching the Bills game, because they're already losing. game's almost, well, it's more than half over. The way they're playing, I don't think they're going to be able to pull it off. So, I think I might just go back to playing Fallout and just, I don't know. I'm tired of seeing them lose. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick it out. Maybe I won't. I'll probably end up just playing Fallout and uh, checking the score later. I mean, why get myself down? They're just going to lose. It is what it is. So, I thought about it and I decided to go back to playing Fallout. It's kind of inevitable they're going to lose. I mean, they're playing the Patriots. 
and they're already down, and the game's almost over, so, oh well, back to Fallout. Okay, so today's been pretty rough, as I've said before in the other parts of my video, but, um, I found the trick is to, uh, just kind of keep busy. If you feel like you want to smoke, you gotta get your mind off of it, you gotta keep doing other things, and I think that's one thing that helps. Like, I, I've been cleaning my apartment since I, uh, made the last video, and it's been helping uh, distract me from wanting to smoke and like uh, that and I'm trying to stay away from the coffee too um, which has not been that big of an issue but I do find myself reaching for my vape sometimes and uh, it's it's gonna take a while before it you know I'm done with the nicotine and it gets out of my system and, uh, and then that want to vape or smoke is gonna be gone um, which I should probably just throw out my E6 because I don't think you can I don't think I'd be able to sell them I don't know who would want them but an important thing is, is that they're put away I'm not buying any more juice I'm just gonna deal with it I'm just gonna push through it and uh, just gotta quit cold turkey and not go back to it because otherwise I'll be very disappointed in myself I've got over what like eight months of not drinking so I think I can handle you know not smoking now, given that I am on medication to help me not drink, um, I think that I can still pull it off without having any sort of medication to stop smoking and stop vaping. So that's my plan for now. Um, I'm going to go watch the rest of the Bills game, and uh, I'll probably be back after that. So see you then. So today's been a rough day like I thought it would be, uh, with having no nicotine. Um, and not that much caffeine, but uh, other than that, it's been a pretty shitty day too. I just feel pretty depressed because it's the holidays, and uh, well, I don't really get to see my family on the holidays still yet, so uh, um, you know, it just kind of sucks. But uh, I guess the positive thing is I've, is that I have a roof over my head and I've got food to eat, and um, I'm doing something good by not smoking or not vaping anymore and uh, trying to get rid of that caffeine um, kinda let down because the Bills lost but what do you expect they're playing the Patriots of course they're gonna lose but um yeah I don't know it's a pretty boring video today like yesterday I don't really have too much of uh, anything interesting to say so I think I'll just cut this part short here